Hello everyone, this is Doreen Okiri, Head of Customer Success at Apple GDP, and I'm here to share with you the Customer Success Summary Update for Sprint ending 12th of April, 2022. As always, we'll start off with our North Star metric, uh, this time revenue and not population, as indicated in our last Sprint recording. Uh, so go, looking forward, um, we, we do know that there are certain indicators, leading indicators that would determine uh, our, our revenue. And there are also certain dependencies that are going to drive how successfully we meet that revenue target. So um, looking at this quarter, uh, our key leading indicators are residents and transactions. The dependencies that we have are in regard to product implementation and adoption. So ensuring that the products uh, that the customers are using are um, at, optimal, at, at optimal level. And also for certain customers, we also have to have um, contract reviews. Other than that, uh, even as you look at Q3 and Q4, uh, there is land sales, which may be a leading indicator also, or that which is a leading indicator also within this quarter. Although I expect that we shall have more um, traction in later quarters and then also dependencies on new customers and therefore ensuring that we have a rapid and efficient customer onboarding process and uh, for existing customers we have an efficient product value realization process uh, on population we are currently at 147 residents across all double gdp cities uh, metrics aside, uh, there's been quite a bit of work that has happened within the sprint. Uh, firstly, very excited that we have finished the recruitment process for our candidate for the Kenya CSM role, and uh, the candidates shall be joining us in a few weeks. Uh, in for the Nigeria role, uh, this is still work in progress. We did interview a few uh, candidates in this past sprint, and uh, a few more have been scheduled. One has been scheduled, and we do expect a few more uh, in the this early this sprint. On the TLC DRC deployment, uh, we did get very useful user feedback as we started the deployment process and uh, the engineering team is and, and, and products are, are working on the uh, customer feedback and we expect a quick turnaround on this. We also did some work on customer success stories. So there's a template and also three stories. And uh, finally, on team enablement, uh, we have uh, or the I curated uh, two exciting trainings. Firstly, asking great sales questions, onboarding and adoption, both of which I think will be very relevant to what we are currently doing and the transition that we're going through. Uh, looking forward uh, on the product implementation and adoption side, there is some work to be done on the TLC DLP and the AIMBA NOC plan updates uh, as per conversation and, and request from the customer. On the OKRs, I'll just speak about the ones that have had changes. So closing off on the growth strategies for non-sponsored double GDP residents, uh, I think we, we do have a good traction there, um, even as we shift uh, the North Star metric. And uh, for the customer satisfaction measures and tracking needs functionality adoption, both of those have been moved to needs attention. Uh, so that we can have uh, more focus on those as they were deprioritized um, with all the other activities happening. So in summary, uh, we've added uh, revenue as uh, our focal point, and uh, we do have the lead leading indicators of population, land sales, and transactions. Uh, on product, uh, across the team, I think there has been very good uh, progress that has been made in terms of ensuring that the product still is a focus area for our customers and on city partner engagement uh, in addition to the resident parties that are yet to be held uh, we shall now be scheduling uh, additional EBRs. and that's it for my sprint update thank you